Yesterday, I ran a training program for one of the largest hotel chains in the world. And one of the students asked me a very interesting question. They get data like this where you have got some data and in between some text values are also present and they want to handle this. So in this video, I'm going to show you two techniques to solve the problem. The first one is to avoid this problem altogether. And the second one is to reuse this data. Let's go to the most favorite tool for me to solve these kind of problems, Microsoft Excel. I'm going to make a blank file in Excel. For our first technique, I'm just going to go to my text file, Control A to select all the data, copy and paste it into Excel. As our data is tab delimited, Excel automatically puts that into four columns and neatly arranges the data for me. As you can see here, these are the lines that are causing the trouble. So for our first approach, we are going to just altogether remove this information and then just restore our data to a sensible format through which we can then analyze it. To begin with, you need to identify a column that will be consistently blank whenever there is a text value in the other column. So for example, room number column is a good case because it will always be blank whenever this is text. So once you highlight this column, then press F5 key, function key 5, and then this opens up the go to box. Click on special and this opens the go to special screen. Go to special is one of those special screens in Excel that is not easy to reach. But once you get here, you can use this to highlight or select special kinds of cells. Since we want to identify all the blank room numbers, we can use the blanks option here. Click OK and Excel identifies all these blank cells. At this point, we just want to remove all such data. So I can press Ctrl minus, which is the delete cells shortcut in Excel. And then just say that delete the entire row. Click OK and boom. Our data is now in a more sensible format that we can go and analyze directly. When I demoed this solution to the classroom, many people really liked it. But then obviously some people come back with the question. Question. This is good, but what if I need that data? How are we going to do that? So that's our second technique. We're going to use Power Query so that we can bring this data and use it in conjunction with the rest of the data in a sensible format. For this purpose, I'm going to go to my data ribbon and then click on get data from file from text slash CSV. Locate the file and then say import. This shows you a preview of the data. Everything looks OK. So I'm now going to go to the transform so that we can fix the problem. Once you are in the Power Query editor, the first step to do would be to make sure that the headers are correct. In this case, Power Query has not automatically promoted the header row. So I'm going to go to home, use first row as header option so that the headers are set correctly. The next thing that we want to do is we want to figure out which cells had this text value to begin with. Again, we can use the same idea as earlier. We can identify a column, for example, room number. It is always blank when there is text value here. So I'm going to go to add column, click on conditional column. And this column, I'm just going to name this as text value. And here we want to check if room number equals blank then the output should be select a column of date. Else this needs to be null. So I'll just say null here in small letters and then click OK. So this will have a value whenever room number is blank and it will be null if the room number is present. The next step is we want to take this word and use them for all these null values. This kind of operation is called filling up. And you can do this from the transform ribbon. So start by selecting the text value column, go to transform and then from fill, select fill up. This will replace the nulls with the word underneath. At this point, we no longer need these blank room numbers. So I'll go to the filter here, uncheck my blank room numbers and click OK. That's it. Our data is now clean. I can go to home close and load. 
and we'll get a nice table with all the data including the text value. The beauty of Power Query approach is that it is repeatable. Every time I get an updated version of this file, I just have to come back to Excel, right click and then refresh my query so that all these values reappear and we are ready to analyze. If you want to learn what other awesome things you could do with Power Query, watch this video. And if you want to learn a little bit more about how to do data cleaning with Excel functionalities, watch this video. I'll catch you in one of these places. Bye.